Now this is another um, catch up. This is another catch up um, um, vid right here that we want to um, um, present. And this is connected with the RSS, part of the overflow for the RSS um, um, number 39, the Chukat or Yehigu uh, Tizaz. You understand? Um, which concerns the red heifer, the death of Miriam. Um, the water from the rock section of the scripture, Moses striking the water, Aaron also passing in this particular Torah portion. Now, why is this significant? Why do we think this is significant? Because when we look into Micah, Micah says something that is kind of very, very interesting. First of all, we want to connect, and, and we don't know if we did enough justice to it, and we want to just make it a little bit clear and just focus on because we were talking about a lot of points in the previous RSS. Um, I think it was uh, 39.3 or so, 39.3 or 39.2. I don't recall exactly, but the one where we had uh, a kind of word picture lecture like this, you understand, with some of the, the items and the, and the art and fact, you know, to, to help us with like a you know, word picture, kind of a more of a word picture presentation. Now, in the book of Micah, we saw something interesting. Now, where he says that, there's a connection with ancient Egypt that part of it is because there's this whole schizophrenia within our modern so-called Christianity and there's a lot of confusion about well who were the Egyptians and there's a and there's kind of this racial or racist white supremacist kind of whitewash that has even confused you know a lot of the Europeans who want to know the truth themselves you understand to this whole story and what the Bible really says and because the truth hasn't been put out there there's a lot of confusion. You understand a lot of confusion. That's what we touched on Thessalonians chapter 2. You understand where it says God will send on them strong delusion that they would believe a lie because um, they did not receive the love of the truth. Now, as we study this and we start to get to the roots of, um, of the scripture, you understand that we touch on Miriam. Miriam for the Israelites was a Hathor type. That would explain a lot about why there is this kind of friction, you know, and even the friction between her and Moses' um, wife, his Ethiopian Medianite wife, uh, Sipara. You know, for saying what was going on. Now, some would say, well, it's because um, Miriam is an Israelite and 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 um, Sipara is a Gentile. She's not a Gentile. You know, since the part of Jethro are not Gentiles. It's very clear from the scriptures. If you study the genealogy, they're actually children of Abraham. They come from that lineage of Abraham by Abraham's 